Welcome to Warn, today's news is How the Navy Names Its Ships, Subs The Indian Navy formally decommissioned its aircraft carrier in Zvirate last month, after 30 years of operational service. The ship had earlier been commissioned with the Royal Navy in 1959, and was known as HMS Hermes. India now has only one aircraft carrier, INS Vikramaditya, which was bought from Russia in 2004. In the Russian Navy, it was known as Admiral Gorshkov. India leases nuclear submarines from Russia and calls them INS Chakra. The first indigenous nuclear submarine being made in India has been named INS Arahant, and the next one, INS Aradhaman. The conventional submarine, which has been made in India, and currently undergoing sea trials, is called INS Calvary. On Monday, the indigenously designed guided missile destroyer INS China was formally dedicated to the city by Tamil Nadu Chief Minister K. Palaniswamy. Vikramaditya, Chakra, Arihant, Calvary, China. How are these names decided? Is there a methodology involved in the christening of the vessels of the Indian Navy? The United States Navy names its aircraft carriers after former presidents. So there is the USS Ronald Reagan and the USS John F. Kennedy. But there are exceptions, USS Nimitz, USS Enterprise, USS Carl Vinson, and USS John C. Stennis. The U.S. Navy's ballistic missile submarines are named after American states, although again with a couple of exceptions. The British and the French have their own naming conventions for naval ships. As does the Indian Navy. The selection of names of ships and submarines of the Indian Navy is done by the Internal Nomenclature Committee, Inc., at the Defense Ministry. The Inc. is headed by the Assistant Chief of the Naval Staff, Policy and Plans, and has representatives from the Historical Section of the Defense Ministry, Department of Archaeology in the Ministry of Human Resource Development, and the Ministry of Surface Transport, among others. As per the policy guidelines, the recommendations of this committee are approved by the Navy Chief. Names, crests and mottos of major war vessels require the assent of the President as well. Thanks for watching. I hope you like this news. Please share your views in comment box. Please like and share this video. Press subscribe button and bell for auto update to you regarding my channel world action and reaction news, warn.